Good morning, fellow wet shavers. Brian here with the Wet Shave Experience. Thanks for tuning in today. If you're new here, hopefully you enjoy what you're seeing. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Really appreciate it. You can support the channel by subscribing below and liking the video. Really appreciate that. Um, today, we are going to continue with the nod. And uh, we've got the gentleman's nod, Sir Winston. This is a Bull Goose uh, exclusive. I'll link the site in the description. Um, I got this kind of as part of my Christmas present. I don't know if you saw my previous videos, but for Christmas, my mom got me the Zaharoff soap, but she picked up the Sir Winston splash and put them together by accident, which totally understandable. The labels look very much the same. Uh, it kind of came up as a suggestion below. Anyways, long story short, I ended up ultimately getting the Zaharoff splash, but then since I had the splash, my mom actually <clears throat> was kind enough to then go ahead and get me the soap that matched it. And um, so this is uh, straight up, well not straight up, but I mean, uh, it's citrus, lavender, and black pepper. Smells fresh, smells really good. I get the citrus, I like citrus, I like lavender. I'm a fresh boy, uh, fresh boy squad in the house. And uh, this is a, a really, really nice scent off the, um, off the puck. So I'm gonna try to, I scooped it out, first use. So there's my little divot. Um, we are in the bowl here. That's about how much soap, that, well not about, that is how much soap I have. I'm gonna be using the Amber Aerolite PAA Synthetic Brush along with the PAA Ascension DOC in the house. All right, so um, it, I'm interested to see how this goes. This is also the Cardinal base, so I'm not sure um, if you've watched CDB's video. <laughs> Recently, I've seen all this stuff going around. It's been kind of fun. It's actually, Chris is such a great guy. Uh, you know, I don't know him all that well since I'm so new in the community, but I watch a lot of his videos and I feel like I know him, right? And um, it's kind of funny to see him flustered. Uh, he was just absolutely flummoxed with the um, lathering on the uh, Sir, uh, Zaharoff Royale. And... Um, he was even talking about it in his, in his Barbas video yesterday. So, uh, you know, I think he's gonna swap out his tub. I don't know if the uh, gentleman at uh, Gentleman's Nod reached out to him and are gonna swap out his tub, but uh, hopefully he just got a bad batch or something. Uh, I will say, based on my experience so far, uh, two days in a row, even with the original uh, signature, it's not a high volume soap. So we'll see what this yields. Uh, I'm just lathering here. Um, I'm doing the whole same, you know, thing here. So we'll see. My feeling is, and I don't have a lot of experience with this, and I, I really don't have a lot of experience with a lot of soaps, but there's obviously soaps that produce more lather with the same amount of soap. There's obviously different water tolerances in the soaps, depending on what they're made of. Um, this to me is just probably one of those soaps that's just not a, I believe the proper terminology is high structure. This may be low structure, which means I think, and somebody comment below and correct me if I'm wrong, just not a ton of volume of lather uh, for the soap. But so far we're getting a little soap in there. I'm running a little bit behind today. I did my 45 minute Peloton challenge FTP power zone ride this morning, but I got up a little late, so um, did that. We're, we're doing that this challenge, this 12 week challenge, we are in week two, so it's three rides a week, two 45 minute rides, and then a 60 minute ride that are part of the challenge, and then you can do whatever other rides in between that you want. So anyways, so we're going with the nod. You know, I, I um, so I'm just, I'm just going around, no tricks here, no switching bowls, nothing different. Um, I do seem to feel like so far I'm getting a little bit more volume than yesterday. I don't know. Um, I'd have to go back and watch my video. I do know that's so sharp. David chimed in and said the, the volume looked a little weak or uh, the lather looked a little weak. Um, you know, it was plenty slick and I got a shave done, so, I, you know, but yes, it was not a very high volume lather. So, David, you were right on that. And he said, it's probably not your fault. I don't know, maybe it is my fault. Um, you know, just being new, but just lathering it up. 
but this is, I really like the scent. It's definitely, um, I get the citrus more than the lavender. The lavender's there. And then the black pepper um, is there in the background, which just kind of gives it a nice um, sharpness to it. Um, but it's not over overwhelming. And I do feel already like I am getting a little bit more volume out of this. I don't know. Um, you know, this is also the cardinal base, I think, like I said. So we'll just keep trying to whip it up here. But I think it's a unique name, gentleman's nod, you know. I mean, it's like the, the old school, you know, when you had the hat, you did the nod. Today, it's kind of like when you don't know, it's like dude code, right, or guy code. Like, it's funny how we do these, like, things uh, instinctively that we don't even think about. Like, you know, when you... When you're acknowledging somebody that you don't know, especially another guy, you kind of do the, you know, the nod, like, hey, what's up? But then we do something totally different when it's somebody that we know, right? Somebody you haven't seen in a while, somebody you know, a friend, whatever, you're about to greet each other, and it's more like, hey, you do the head raise, right? Versus the, the nod down. So it's like the nod down is, hey, I don't know you, but I'm acknowledging you, right? But the nod is like, hey, what is up, man? Good to see you, haven't seen in a while, or whatever. I don't know. I think it's just kind of funny sometimes. Body language is just instinctive or uh, kind of we learn it, learn behavior, right? And I am definitely getting, so this, this does seem like more lather uh, for the amount of soap than I did get yesterday. I, I don't know. I, like, like I said, I got enough lather. I didn't have quite the same problem that Chris had. Um, so I don't know. There are a lot of ingredients and a lot of butters in this, uh, in this base. So, but yeah, I mean, I definitely feel like this is a, a, a little bit, a little bit higher volume in the lather than, than yesterday. So I do know sometimes, and I don't know, I, you know, this could be just a wild guess, but I mean, there are times, I don't know when this batch was made. Obviously, it was uh, Bull, Goose, Bull Goose exclusive, so could have been there for a while. Um, and I don't know that they would do this, but I do know like with First Line, I know that Michael, it's still FLS 3.0 base, but I know he was kind of tinkering with some of the ingredients in terms of... Um, quantity of each of some of the ingredients and so I had like three different FLS 3.0 base soaps like the Kituwa that came out was, was really really soft um, the ones I had before like Del Mar and Dapper Man were soft but not quite as soft the Kituwa and um, I think one other that I got um, was more um, almost milk steak almost crope like um, and then I had a, a blue that I bought I, that I got that um, was pretty hard. And so um, anyways, and I, when I reached out to Michael, he was messing with some of the ratios of some of the ingredients. And I think in the harder one, it was like had more clay in it or something. And um, so that's definitely more lather than I got yesterday with the same amount of soap. I'm gonna be honest with you. I got enough lather for a soap yet, for a shave yesterday, but this is definitely, um, you know, much, much more, uh, soap lather than I got so maybe there is something to um, the Royale I don't know but you know so we're just going but yeah this is definitely a lot more lather than yesterday for sure and I'd have to go back and look. I don't have a picture of the lather, but I should have taken a picture of the lather. Well, now I can't because we're filming and I don't want to have to stop it and then edit it and splice it together. I'm having a problem with my phone. Whenever I try to, I don't know if you've noticed, but I, I used to do the introduction. I used to stop the camera and then I would, um, lather and then I would come back on and I would try to splice the videos together in iMovie because I'm just using my phone. But then I had a weird problem with my phone. Every time I tried to export the movie back out to my phone, 
It would tell me I don't have enough storage on my phone, but yet I have a ton of storage on my phone and I have a ton of storage available in iCloud. And I got tired of trying to battle with that, so I just started lathering before the video even started and just going so I didn't have to stop because um, I'm not using my computer for editing. So anyways, that's a lot more lather. It just, it is. All right, so let's get started. So working on one day's growth on the face. Um, this is a, what are we on? This is a fourth use NASA blade. So, I, you know, I don't know how many uses you usually get out of a blade, three to five, I think for me. I haven't used a lot of NASA, so I'm gonna see how many I can get. This is the PAA Ascension Twist Adjustable. It does have the flare tip uh, that is um, customizable. This is not how you adjust it though, but this does come off. And you can take it off and just, if you like a shorter handle, you don't even have to put it on. Um, and then they sell a red one and a purple one just to kind of, you know, make it customizable. But then you twist the handle and that actually um, changes the angle of the blade. So you get more, so if you loosen it, it, re it reduces the tension on the blade uh, from the top cap and base plate. And then so you can actually see as you twist it, uh, the blade flex up and as the get blade gap gets wider on here. So first day, first two times I used it, I had it all the way tightened. Yesterday I loosened it a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna loosen it just a scotch more today. So interesting on these, uh, you know, these customizable, adjustable ones. I mean, I can see some pros and cons versus like ones that like click into place. So I guess you could kind of get more refined in how you want to do the uh, adjustment. So more customizable, uh, maybe smaller adjustments if you're looking for smaller adjustments. But at the same time I was thinking about it, it's like it's all by feel then at that point. So if you take it apart, you clean it, and you put it back together, you know, trying to get back to the exact same spot you know, it's kind of, you're not necessarily always gonna be able to do that unless you use the razor a lot and you kind of, in your mind, have your, how much you loosen it in your head. So to me, that's the only downside, I would think, to the adjustable, the way it is. You know, if you, if you have one of those that, like an old Gillette or something that's adjustable, that has like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you know you like two, you turn it to two. <clears throat> All right, so, but I am liking this razor. Uh, I like the double open comb. First time I've tried a double open comb. Man, this soap is slick. I will say that the, the Cardinal Base, regardless of lather volume, um, it's super slick. And I mean, you can go back over, I mean, there's a lot of residual slickness. I can come back to the side of my face. Um, so it's there. The only thing about the lower structure, I don't know, maybe you don't get as much cushion. But that didn't seem to bother me yesterday. And I'm really liking this scent. If you like, uh, it's bright without being too bright. It's not bright enough where I'd say, oh, this is a summer or spring scent necessarily. This to me seems like maybe a year round scent. Definitely different than Zaharoff scents. Those are obviously cologne type scents. This is not, I wouldn't say this is a cologne type scent. I think those lather channels, I don't know if you can see those very well. But I think for 50 bucks, I mean, you get 316 marine grade steel 
Um, this is a gunmetal color. I really like the knurling on the handle. So I, I feel like you could probably loosen it up enough if you like more and more blade feel and still have enough tension on the blade to hold it in place. I don't personally like a ton of blade feel. But I mean, there's just, there is, there is more lather in here. I'm not gonna lie. Than I was able to get yesterday. It's funny how some of these things come up either on Instagram or YouTubers or whatever. And they just kind of, they kind of end up uh, showing up in other guys' videos. You know, Chris had this problem and then, you know, I saw some other guys posting on Instagram. I saw uh, Paul post a, a lather shot of the Royal yesterday and he got a decent amount of lather. So it's just funny how sometimes these things come up and it's like creates this little micro theme uh, that, you know, a month or two from now we'll all kind of forget about, but it's kind of like sharp but tuggy, right? So that extra little micro turn I did, not feeling much different than yesterday. On the razor. Man, I'm really liking this scent though. I had seen these, he has the Sir Winston and Sir Arthur, these came out last year. And they are a premium purchase, there's no question. I was fortunate enough to get the Sir Arthur and Sir Winston as a gift for my mom. And also the Zaroff soap, so really I only bought the um, Splash and then I bought the Royal set. So anyways, I had seen these before and I wasn't sure. And probably if my mom honestly had not um, mixed up this uh, Sir Winston splash with the Zaharov, I, I don't know that I would have picked this up, to be honest with you. So it was quite a fortuitous mistake on my mom's part. So I opened it up on Christmas. I opened the soap and I'm like, oh, right, yeah, this is, this is what I asked for. And then I saw the splash, I was like, mm, but, and then I was like, I felt bad for my mom. <laughs> I was like, oh, this isn't the same matching splash, but it all worked out in the end for the best. I know I think I came out uh, on, the, on the better end of that deal. It just took me a while to, piece it all together. But anyways, I probably would not have picked this set up and I probably wouldn't have picked up Sir Arthur because she grabbed that also. And I think, I think Bull Goose was having a, a, I think I picked it up after Christmas and they were having a 20% off deal. And so my mom did get them for 20% off. So that makes it a better deal. I mean, it was, it's a $29 soap. Uh, the Splash is priced, I think, at 25, which is fairly competitive with, with a lot of others today. I mean, I see Splashes anywhere from 20 to 25 bucks. PAAs is 25 bucks. Even Soap Commander Splash is 25 bucks. So, although their soap is a lot, lot less expensive for Soap Commander anyways. Um, so, so it's 29 bucks for four ounces of soap. So it is a premium purchase, so that's over seven bucks, but 20% off takes you down to what? It's uh, 290 off, so almost six bucks off. So still pricey, but 
a little bit more palatable. Mm, I hear my children up. Mm. Good thing we're in the third pass. Hopefully I get this done before they wander in here. My son went to bed super early last night. We had dinner at my mom's and he fell asleep on the way home. This was about 7.30. Let's see, about at least an hour before he usually goes to bed. So um, I was expecting him to get up a little bit earlier today. So this isn't the most, uh, I hope I'm using the term right, and you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but because I've kind of heard efficiency used in a, a couple different ways. So I guess what I will say is, and maybe this isn't the way, best way to use efficiency, but you know, looks like I got myself right there. Um, I would say that this, I mean, I'm sure you could dial it up maybe, I don't know, because blade feel doesn't, and aggressiveness doesn't always necessarily equal efficiency or, or, or smoothness on the skin. So when I'm talking about efficiency, I'm thinking about how smooth my skin is, is left. So how close to BBS can you get? And I would say this is about a medium, medium high. So I'm still not quite as smooth as I am with, say, the Haircut and Shave Company, even the N075, or with my Rockwell on three or four. Those ones just leave me super, super smooth and are both super, super comfortable. Because I mean, the N075 on the Haircut and Shave Company is a neutral blade angle, or neutral blade exposure, excuse me, but it's still just the geometry of the cap and the base plate and everything else. It, it's incredibly smooth. <clears throat> okay, there we go. So I got through all three passes. So let's see if we can get through the, the final stages here. I rinse the face. video today maybe you're maybe you're gone already if you get this far I appreciate it so we, I've still got I've still got a lot of a lot of ladder left so it brings to a question you know how much soap should I be using I've been you know, I use this spoon and I try to get out about the same amount I try to keep almond size in the back of my mind because that's um, by the way side label um, which is nice a nice touch, um, clear um, bottom part on the on the soap. Um, but I think maybe my almond is a little, it's like a giant almond. I did get myself right there on the chin now. So I always typically have lather left over. So do you have lather left over at the end or do you try to put enough soap so that you use all the lather? And I know it could be different because if you don't bowl lather and you don't scoop and you load from the puck, it's totally different. It's hard to equate the two, how much soap you're picking up. I mean, I know depending on the care of the brush and how long you load and all that, but it's all just kind of an estimate. There's no real quantifiable amount of soap that you can say you got out of that the way you can with scooping it. Uh, although I don't technically measure it, <clears throat> not using a, a measuring spoon. So maybe I should. But I would say I had less than half a teaspoon, maybe more than a quarter teaspoon is what I typically have. So here we go, Sir Winston Splash. Smells really nice. Oh, alcohol. Oh, this smells just good. I, you know, as an everyday scent, I mean, the Zaharovs are nice. 
beautiful scents, very well crafted, blended. But as an everyday, um, this is kind of more my speed. And uh, citrus, lavender, black pepper. And uh, all right, so there you have it. There's a shave for the day. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Appreciate you um, staying, if you stayed this long, appreciate it. Uh, I need a haircut, look at that. This is, yeah, this guy needs a haircut for sure. Um, yeah, so we'll see you next time on the channel. Hopefully, I think next time I got Sir Arthur um, coming up tomorrow, but I'll just lather off camera and kind of try to shorten the video a little bit. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon on the channel.